So let's talk about valuation. If you come inside the Bloomberg here, you can look at the S&P versus S&P and then the P.E. ratio. And you can see that typically this is where we kind of bottom with the ratio here. So uh, the question being, does the S&P have to fall even more for the P.E. ratio to kind of level out? What do you think? I mean, historically, valuation of multiples contract eight, nine percentage points a year when monetary policy is tightening. Uh, the surprise was that it's, happened, it's only happening now. It didn't happen last year. Uh, I think the comfort people should take, the buffer to that multiples coming down, is the fact that you're going to get 18% earnings growth out of the U.S. this year. Um, mm -hmm. Growth is not the problem, and I think you have very good visibility on that. That's a huge buffer to valuations potentially coming down uh, a little bit more here. But you like defensives. Even though you're positive, we're, we're running a pretty balanced portfolio. I, I think the opportunity is in defensives because they're so cheap and so unloved, and people are so pro-cyclical. But we like commodities as well. Um, I mean, energy prices at these levels, energy equities haven't followed those energy prices. Yeah. Um, these oil companies are throwing off huge cash flows at this point. I think that's an opportunity. Metals prices. We think Chinese growth accelerates here. Um, so I think there are opportunities on both um, the defensive and the cyclical side. Do you think the sell-off's over? Uh, I think we're in much better shape. I think mm -hmm. sentiment's come down a lot, which is a good thing. You saw more money come out of U.S. equity funds last week than went in in the whole of last year. I think volatility up at higher levels is also a good thing. It was lower than bond, yield, bond volatility um, at one point, which was completely, um, um, completely strange. The caveat, though, I think, is if you look at the history of global equity corrections, it's 16%. We're well, half that. They also last three or four months, not two to three weeks. So... Um, I, I, I'd be buying some defensives on, on the way down here. We've now have upside to our 25, 2850 target, which mm -hmm. we didn't have two weeks ago. So um, I, I, I'd be buying on the way down, potentially.